Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, take a look at the Neil Pride Freeride helmet. So, uh, why I bought this one is because I find my old uh, windsurfing gear from the 90s and I thought like, yeah, I should have a helmet. Uh, it's for two reasons. First, to be safe when I'm out surfing and the other is for uh, having the GoPro uh, on. It could be fun to make some <laughs> GoPro videos also from the water see how that goes so and uh, when it comes to safety as you can see here uh, in other sports you also have helmets when you drive motocross or any other motorsport or here i have bike helmets this is the one i use and here i have the an old one and as you can see you never know you go down something happens unexpected and uh, this is how it looks and it's better that you crash your helmet than crash your head so I will uh, take this out and see uh, this is how it came. Yeah, I have it out and tried it, but uh, then you will see this is the box. And take this plastic out, very noisy. One. And uh, the only thing I didn't understand then was uh, this one. Uh, it says uh, Typhoon, uh, but I have a Neil Pride. But inside it's exactly this helmet, so it's uh, okay. So, and uh, for me, I bought the uh, size small, and uh, I, it's a mark in the back. Oh, then this, of course, fall down there. So, and uh, it's another mark here that is uh, 54 to 56 centimeters. So, how I did it was I just uh, take one of these measure my head um, and as you can see it's 56 so I'm on the edge for the small and uh, I like to have the helmet tight so it's okay as you can see it's also come with these pads and uh, I I don't know if I ever would use them but uh, we try it on It's quite easy to fit them there. One, one, that's there. And it's a normal adjuster here in the back. I hope it's good uh, quality. Yeah, so we can try it on with the pads. And uh, it's okay. I have to, as I said, my head is in the upper range of this helmet. So when I have this pads in I really have to take it out so ah, I have some quite good space I can tighten it a little bit so, uh, but for me I don't know if I'm going to use these pads but at, at least uh, now it's quite comfortable but yeah so and uh, one other thing with this helmet is that uh, without the pads it's a little bit round feeling since my head is like a little bit flat on the sides I have some extra space here and of course that is good for uh, when you use the pads probably but for me uh, uh, it's okay but i think the helmet will adjust because it feels quite soft and so on so yeah and the other thing of course is my uh, gopro mount so i will uh, see where i will put it but I see a lot of people have it on the top and that's but this helmet is not quite there on the top I, I think it's more have the same better surface here in the front yeah, I will see how I do it but that's at least so but um, I hope for some wind so I can go out and try it and see how it works in the water 
and um, because I fell one time and hit my face in the board, <laughs> which is <laughs> very strange. So then I was thinking also maybe a helmet is a good thing, and so you don't knock yourself out. But I get some time to get out on the water. But as you can see, it was not much wind. But I had the opportunity to test the helmet, and my first impression was that uh, it felt good. First, I surfed uh, without the uh, GoPro, and I already felt that I had it on, so it was very nice. And uh, as you can see, it's not much wind, and when I had the GoPro on, it, I didn't notice it much either. I was afraid it would feel heavy in the front, because I'm out of the GoPro in the front, but it was okay. So I think uh, this was maybe my top speed to this day. So, yeah, and, uh, maybe I should adjust it also so it doesn't point up in the sky. And uh, since there was no wind, as you can see, uh, wind what? didn't catch me, so I tested the camera underwater also, and that was okay. And uh, yeah, then I went in. Uh, thanks for listening.